I'm going to show you how to make an icosahedron using dots and toothpicks. Dots and I recommend colored toothpicks because it's pretty. I'm going to have 12 dots and 30 toothpicks that we're going to use. So now the first part of this is to take and make a pentagon out of dots. So we simply take five dots, put them together, and try to form a regular pentagon with it. Something that go in just about where you can't see the toothpick anymore. Something about like this. Go right in. We're going to readjust these afterwards. So here we go. So we've got, first of all, we've got a pentagon. You can kind of straighten it out, make it look good. Now, once we have one pentagon made, we're going to make another pentagon. Just exactly the same as that one there. And I'm going to put it right about into the bottom of the dot. And again, try to line it up. You can use the other one kind of like a template once you got it made. And in it goes. Just a little bit, about three-eighths of an inch into the rounded toothpick. And we'll see what we get out of that. Again, don't worry about the orientation of the dots. We're going to rearrange them afterwards. So here's the first step. We have two pentagons that are side by side that are just fine. Now the next part is we're going to take one of the pentagons and we're going to put it on the other pentagon. Now to do that, we're going to take and put the toothpick straight up like this but at an angle so that these two toothpicks come up together like that and form an equilateral triangle. So we're going to do that for each one of the five dots that are here. So we have the vertex points all coming up like that. Now when we're done with this, this is going to have 20 triangles. It's going to have 30 toothpicks and it's going to have 12 dots. So Leonardo Euler figured out that if you add together the number of faces that this will have, in other words the number of equilateral triangles, and you add together the number of dots, you'll get 32, which is two more than the number of toothpicks it will require. Now that we've got these toothpicks up here like this into a little triangles at the top, like that. Now we're going to attach this pentagon to those. Now it's a little tricky to do it, but it's just going to go right into the bottom like so. Once you get started, just go right around, right in the middle of that. Straight up right in the middle so it's a nice equilateral triangle. Doesn't have to be overly perfect. You can always adjust it when you're done. Let's see what I did wrong. Okay. Go. One here, one here. Okay, we're going to put one here. Oops, go in the right place. There we go. Uh, let's see, we're going to put one here. And then finally that one will go right about here. So we're going to make it so that you've got your two pentagons sitting right on top of each other, filling in the spaces like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we're going to take and put five more toothpicks coming up to a point up at the top. So they're all going to come to a point at the top and then, well, we're going to take a dot and put it, put all five into that dot. Here we go. Find a convenient dot here. Now it'd be nice if the dot was standing straight up like this and you put the toothpicks right around the base of it like this. So it'll fit just fine. Okay, now we're almost done. Now the next part's a little trickier here. We have to do the same thing to the bottom that I just did to the top ring. Now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to take the bottom ring, these five, and I'm going to have the toothpicks coming straight up again. And up we go, just like this. Now, once you start doing this yourself, you realize it's not exactly complicated. 
and you just go back and watch all the times. Here we go, we got five. All right, so we take our last dot, our twelfth dot, and we're going to take and go and have it go straight up like this. Put it right around the base like so. And we have an icosahedron. 20 faces, 20 triangles, 30 toothpicks, and 12 dots. Now you can take and kind of rearrange it a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. And then the last step. You see how this dot is standing straight up and that dot's kind of standing straight up? We really want to just go around and rearrange all the dots so they're standing straight up also. So we're taking it apart but putting it right back together dot by dot. So that when I'm done, all 12 of these dots will be all standing straight up like this and it'll look a little bit better I think. So let's try that. Only should take a second. Okay, let's do it. Now this might take, this is really the longest part of the thing because you have to do it the, the other ten dots. You put two of them on, the last two you put on was standing straight up, but the rest of them aren't. So you really need to make them stand straight up. And this is about the easiest way to do it, to take it apart like this. And here's one that already came out for me, so I guess we'll start on that one. Just try to get it relatively evenly spaced around the bottom. If you're really good at angles, you know that a pentagon, the uh, number of degrees in the angle that you need to go. And let's see. Here we go. Right, this one. So it may seem like you're done and you, but now I'm taking it apart, but I'm really just fixing it so that it's perfect. Now once we're done, the concept would be to try to make sure that it, you know, we'll do this one next, hold that there. Uh, let it, get it as perfect uh, looking as you possibly can, and then just let it sit there in the open air and the dots will get stale and it'll be a semi-permanent structure. I don't recommend eating it since you've had your fingers all over it. You don't have a clue on earth where these dots have been before you did it. If you have dots left in your box when you're done and you're doing this at home, then I suppose you can eat the dots. There are approximately 68 dots in a box. It says on the box that the serving size is 12 and that there are 5.5 servings. So that would come out to 66. The last box that I counted the dots, it came out to 68. So maybe they're actually giving you two more dots in every box. I don't know. It's a good question. Something you could investigate as you go buy dots and eat them. All right, are we done yet? Did we flip? We have one more left to go, I think. We have one left to go here. So in just a very few short minutes, We've taken in, accomplished, taking 12 dots and 30 toothpicks and turning it into an icosahedron, which is one of the five platonic solids known in ancient times. So here we are, the finished product, an icosahedron.